Hello guys, in the Android Kotlin video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can uh, use the event handling and get the value from the text editor and set to the uh, another text input fields. So let's get start. And guys, if you don't know about the uh, too much about the Kotlin and you don't know about the basics of Kotlin, then don't worry. I'll tell you the everything that will come under in this video, like the properties, functions, inheritance, all this. I'll uh, tell you about that and explain is this the things so let's get start so you can see that this is a simple screen and uh, I need the two things one is the button and one is a text editor on the button click I will pass a text editor value to this uh, text function uh, I mean to the text view so just take a button here and take one more plain text here so all right so now just go to the text and we can take some button id like put it the simple button and put the normal text editor all right now go to your main activity file so here you can see that it's uh, uh, very similar to the android uh, java code but uh, it's a little bit different so let's understand is this this, uh, this code so here you can see that's class activity colon app compact activity that means this is the inheriting the app compact activities so the override means this is overriding the core function and if you and define that we are going to start the define a function so these are the basically things that we need to do understanding these functions and nothing is more so now just uh, I'm going to define a function like uh, I'm going to define fun get set all right this is my function name and here the before the function we do don't need to define the uh, public property and private uh, private accessibilities so this is also uh, too easy so I need to pass a view functionality here all right so after that I'm going to take a well a uh, well means it's, it's a kind of constant if you are uh, uh, starting with the, your uh, property with the where that means it will be variable in the well that means the value of this uh, property cannot be changed simply so I'm going to take the text editor okay so just make it some different so that we can understand this is the well alright so just use the find view by id and here you can pass the text editor sorry it's, it's edit text all right and in the packet we can use the r dot id dot edit text all right so just use the colon in the semicolon in the last and just take one more well and you can you put the name of messages here and here you can use the text editor dot text dot go to the to string that means it will change the value we can put the anything and it will change the value to the string simply all right so we take the values uh, from we get the values and it will convert it in the string now how we can put this value so let's go to the interface now so here you can see that uh, let's make it zoom a little bit so i want to take this value from here and uh, set in this uh, text view so for that i need to get the instance of this class so for that i'm going to use one more well and here i can use the text view you can use the whatever you want to keep the name and same as the uh, the editor so just use the find view by id and this is the text view and just use r dot id and this code is pretty similar to the java code also so id is the text view I think yes let's check the ID here 
yes this is the uh, text view all right so after that and if we want to set the value here then we just need to use the apply and it will give you the curly brackets and inside the curly brackets just use a text equal to message that means the message will go under the text of this view and that's it and just after that we have to call this function how we can call this function for that I'm going to activity file and on the button property I'm going to write here Android and on click activity and just part this pass the function name all right and now just run it again so code is very similar to the uh, java in the case of the activities uh, xml files and gradle files from the only code that will change is only uh, in the main activity.kt file which is just in the java files are converted in the uh, kotlin files only and all the other files will be same so here you can see that i'm going to write here hi youtube youtube that's fine and click on the button and let's see what's going on so you can see that we got the text here so in this video we learned how we can set the value how we can get the value and how we can use the button event this is a similar to the java also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and in the next video we will see how we can uh, navigate from one screen to another screen in the with the help of kotlin so thanks guys thanks for watching this video